because of it. Con and, and in 2 Corinthians 12, 7, it has been conjectured that Paul's thorn in the flesh was chronic orthomia, uh, let's see if I can say it, ophthalmia, inducing bodily weakness and a repulsive appearance. And it has somehow affected his vision because in, in Galatians, they, he says, I bear you witness, if you could have, you would have torn out your eyes and given them to me. So the illness somehow affected his vision. So he's a master theologian. He wants to read and study, and he's having trouble with his what? His eyes. And disease makes him incredibly weak. And he's going to go on a what? A missionary. Four trips across the Roman Empire when he's suffering from an illness that leaves him without natural strength. So his story is an story, you know, you, today we'd say this is the story of a handicapped man who's been brutally mistreated and somehow finds a way to do great things in this life. You know, we have, you know, we have anybody who gets even close to this, like, you know, we write books about today. But this is Paul's life. So I wanted to see the whole picture at once. The agony and the what? Ecstasy. <laughs> Seeing people say, people heal, people's lives change. And the revelation, Jesus appeared to him and taught him the gospel. Whoa. You know, he had the really bad and the really, the really good. Nothing, nothing, nothing lukewarm in the middle. I think we're done here with this. <laughs> yeah, we're finished with this thing. All right. There's, a, there's the verses in Galatians 4.15. I can testify that if you could have done so, you would have torn out your eyes and given them to me. And in Galatians 6.11, see with what large letters I am writing to you with my own hand. It may be very possible that he wrote large because that's the only thing he could read because his vision was so poor. And then if you look at this with the bad eyesight thing here on top of all the other physical problems he had, I knew a man in crisis, this, this is his his glory, but it's interesting. I knew him in 2 Corinthians 12, 2-4. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago, whether in the body cannot tell, whether out of the body cannot tell, God knows. Such a one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, God knows. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter doesn't say he saw anything in heaven. Maybe he saw a blur. It says he heard unspeakable words. He wrote with very large handwriting. The Galatians wanted to give him their eyes. We do eye transplants today too, don't we? Yeah. Okay. He's just a little ahead of his time than the Galatians were. We can do that now. You can give your eyes away after you, if you die in a certain way that they can use your eyes. So now we can give our eyes away. So it affected his eyesight, but it also seemed to, when he preached to the Galatians, it's clear that he preached from a sick bed. So he, you know, he could not get out of bed. And he is doing what? Preaching. And he founds a church in Galatia from a sick bed. Suffering from a terrible illness. We may not know exactly what it is, but we have some parameters. Weakness, pain, Loss of eyesight. And this is the man who wrote how much in the New Testament? This is the man who took the, the gospel across the Roman Empire with 600 plus scars on his back and feet beaten until it was painful to walk and suffering from uh, a, a, a terrible affliction. And what would he do? Where did he go first when he went into his city? Go to the synagogue. The synagogue. And what was going to happen in that synagogue? He's going to get chased up. They're going to love him or what? Hate him. And the ones that hate him are going to do what? Stir up trouble. So, you know, Paul, why don't, you know, why don't you go so far besides the synagogue? Paul, Paul, you've been beaten it up. Paul, don't, don't. Stay away from the Jews. They're going to, they're going to. So. You know, in ancient history, people applauded Roman generals, made them Caesars because they would take their armies and march fearlessly into battle. Paul has a beaten body and walks into a synagogue unarmed. 
and he much more courageous than any Caesar ever would be. This is this is the, you know this is a warrior of the faith in an incredible way. So yes, God used this man. God blessed this man. God used this man to affect Christian history more than any other man on earth. But it was no cakewalk. <laughs> it was it was intense. And I wanted you to see that. Now, see the full effect and the price he paid to be this effective for Christ. Amen? Amen. Your homework assignment. Oh, oh yes, yeah, so let me write it up here. There we go, I grab it. Good assignment. Quiz. Oh, you remember, I'm actually going to test you on those dates. All right. Now, if you're not taking it for credit, take the test anyway. See how well you do. Have fun with it. Take it for credit, buddy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You read. You should have read Acts one through nine. You're going to read. You get a big reading. So I don't know. I'm doing this. this is okay. Ten through twenty-eight. Finish reading the book of Acts. Here's what you're going to know. Very simple. Examples of persecution. When you find one, give me like, you know, I'm just making this up, like Acts 9.15. Give me the chapter and verse, and then just brief uh, phrase. What was the persecution? Now, that could be a beating, could be a threat, could be someone lying about him, could be imprisonment, could be any, you know, this, well, it should be endless, but there's a lot of different ways you can persecute a person. Any examples? Just go through and look at the examples of persecution. Because what we're looking at is from AD 30 to is it, 313 AD, we call the age of persecution or the age of the martyrs. Uh, during the lives of the apostle and after, it was a persecuted church, and Acts is filled with that. Fruit, salvations, miracles, and persecutions. That was the whole package. And it was persecution to be intense. Okay. All right. And if some of you have it, you want to just view, you know, you, you can turn that YouTube thing on. Even some of you can get even your phones. And just listen to class. Bob has been posting them. I actually went and looked at the post. That's why we're in here today. Get a little more light. The classroom was fine, but it was a little, it was a little bit dark. Okay. Amen. Oh, what's the time?